Hello and welcome to another Coldblood Solutions video. In this particular video, I'll be addressing the problem that is D2BS has stopped responding, or a similar error and the bot repeatedly restarts or doesn't open Diablo 2, crashes, etc. All of these things are symptoms of not doing the solutions below. The first thing you should do before you change or edit or add anything is restart your computer. You may have actually done it correctly and there's some kind of an issue with the memory not working right. So if you restart your computer, this might actually fix it. I had this happen once before with both Atoll and Colbot. So it does happen. It's not, I wouldn't say it's common, but it can occur. Restart your computer and come back. If it still doesn't work, the first thing we want to do is verify that we have VC++ 2008 and 2010 installed. The way to do this is to just download and install them. Don't assume you have them installed. Just go ahead and do it again. If you already have them installed, it will tell you that and it won't let you install anyway. And you can skip that and go to the next one. These need to be the x86 versions of VC++ 2008 and 2010. And if you go to darkvigilante.site in the description below, you will be able to get these links directly so that you don't have to Google them. And lastly, we need to get .NET Framework 4.0 installed. If you have Windows 10, this comes pre-installed. However, again, just do it anyway. It's just a fail-safe measure to just do things anyway to make sure and verify that we have everything done correctly. Again, if it's already installed, it will let you know that and it won't install anyway. No harm, no foul. And we can move on to the next step. You're going to go into your Cobalt folder and you're going to find D2Bot or D2Bot.exe if you have Windows file extensions turned on. You're going to right click it and you're going to go down to properties. Once there, we're going to find the compatibility tab and click that. In here, we're going to check the box that says run this program in compatibility mode. You're going to select Windows 7 from the drop down menu. And lastly, make sure that you check mark the run this program as administrator, hit apply, and then hit OK. Most of the time, those steps that I told you will be the solution, but I do want to make a couple of other basically suggestions or at least explain a couple of things just in case you're trying to do this a little bit differently. And one of those things is you have to be running Diablo 2 1.14D. I have been told that it can work in 1.13D. I have not seen it myself. I have heard people telling me that it does. But for my purposes and the purposes of my viewers and my channel, 1.14D designed for battle dead, open and closed, and single player, and that's all I'm really concerned with. If you want to play on a different server, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do that, and you'll have to find that solution elsewhere. Another thing that you would really want to do, and not necessarily to fix this problem, but just in general, is right click on the entire Coldbot folder and click on SVN update. I'm going to assume that you already have Tortoise SVN installed, but if you don't, please install it and then come back and do this because updating Coldbot regularly is always a good idea. It helps us to get around certain things that can get us banned or just nice updates that add more features to the program. Sometimes the updates aren't good, just like any other update, but most of the time they're very helpful and work more efficiently. And if you've done everything that I've said in this video and it's still, for some reason, is not working and you're pretty sure you did everything right, restart your computer once again and see if that helps. That's it. If you did all the things in this video and you have Diablo 1.14D installed, you should have it working again. And if you didn't, please leave your errors or problems down in the description below. I'll try to do my best to help you guys out. I hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you next time.